Hello, this is Julian with Copy Reviews, and today we will be reviewing Day 14 of Cafe Box's Advent Calendar, featuring the Caballero Gesha Wash Tondurus from Tim Windelbow. And there's the container right there. All right, let's talk a little bit about Tim Wendelbo. So based out of Oslo, Norway, a uh, world barista champion. And my first time ever trying or reviewing their coffee was just two days ago when I had reviewed the uh, washed Pacamara Honduras, which I thought was pretty good. It was one of my favorite coffees from this advent calendar so far, definitely top five, probably top three. And pretty positive first overall impression of Tim Wendelbo. I just gave it some pretty notable praise that day. And what I thought was pretty interesting and what I want to give a shout out to Cafe Box for is I love that they did back to back to back Honduras from the exact same farm. Three different coffees. We had that Pacamara, then yesterday was a Catuai, and today is a Gesha. So you can kind of compare these coffees side by side and see how drastically different all three of them were because they were really, really different coffees. Let's get the details out of the way. This one brewed at 16.66 to 1 coffee to water ratio as per the information on the Instagram page. Brewed at 201 degrees through the Chemex and of course it's going to be a standard light Nordic roast roast profile. With that out of the way, let's start talking about the coffee itself. All right, uh, very minimal first impressions. I couldn't smell a whole lot from the beans, the ground, the bloom, and even my first sip. I wasn't getting too much from nothing I would feel comfortable saying I was definitely smelling or tasting this. But it was after letting it cool down just a slight bit that the coffee definitely opened up. Secondary things was some pretty nice orange, I was getting a slight bit of lemon, but the most prominent and notable thing was a beautiful floral component to it and it was around this time. I kind of had a pretty strong impression of what I was drinking and uh, I'm going to try not to get too excited because I was trying not to get too excited at that time. I had a pretty strong feeling that I was drinking a uh, washed Kesha, and as the coffee cooled down it just got better and better and that's not a surprise. If anyone's not familiar, washed Geshas from Central America are my favorite type of coffee ever, easily. And the florals were definitely the standout in this coffee and as it cooled down, you know what's funny is I always say that it kind of tastes like a very light uh, Fruit Loops taste. These. Uh, washed geishas from Central America and especially when you kind of smell it that's what I get. Beautiful cup of coffee. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, the taste profile they have listed on here is floral, tangerine, and papaya and I'll be honest uh, the florals obviously I've been talking about it non-stop. Tangerine along with that orange taste I was getting and the papaya up until that last sip I didn't not necessarily was getting but I can see it. I can definitely see it. I'm going to go ahead and put up the tasting wheel now so you can see what I was getting. And uh, of course the two things that will jump out is the florals and the cleanliness as high as possible. Pretty high in the citrus fruit. And typically what happens with these types of coffees is you get really high marks for certain things and really low marks for others. Like no savory, no bitter, no smoky, no caramel. Lightest bodied cup of coffee. Super light, super clean. Obviously very, very delicate cup of coffee. Man, I can't begin to express how much I am enjoying this cup of coffee. This is probably one of the most enjoyable coffee experiences I've had in a very long time. This is definitely making my uh, top coffees of the year list. I'm gonna try not to rave and gush too much about this coffee, but obviously you can probably just tell how blown away and impressed I am by this coffee, and I always wanna be as fair and impartial as possible. I just think this is spectacular, I really do. Um, the type of person I would suggest this coffee to is obviously any, anybody. I want to buy a bag of this coffee. I desperately want to buy a bag of this coffee if they sell it because this is my type of coffee and anybody that does love those wash Central American Geshas, uh, those very super light, delicate coffees, this is obviously for you. And as crazy as it is to me, I know there are people that don't like these coffees, so obviously just steer clear from this one but pretty much anyone else, any coffee lover, this is, this is pretty close to perfect for these types of coffees, and I don't take saying that lightly. I'm gonna leave it at that before I ramble on about loving this coffee any more than I already have. 
If you've tried this coffee, please let me know what you thought of it. Uh, I would still love to hear a little bit more thoughts on some Wonderbow from some others. Uh, if you're enjoying the content, give this video a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. This right here has been a review of the washed, correction, the Caballero Gesha Washed Honduras from Tim Wendelbo. Thank you for watching.